<laughs> I like those. Uh, it made me think of those individually wrapped dill pickles that you can get that are just in oh, the yeah. juice in the pack. Mama. Nope. Yeah. No yeah. other snack is like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah you know so. what I'm talking about, the gas station. It's like, all right, you know what do I need right now? I need stuff. three days of sodium stack. Like, yeah. <laughs> it was the only way to get a pickle in jail. <laughs> so if you wanted pickle as like a garnish or a topping or like. Oh, seriously? You, know, you can get a hot mama in, in jail? I, mean, like I don't know if they were brand one. name, but it was a big dill pickle <laughs> the in generic the generic hot mama. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. But in prison, it's kind of like being a Native American, where I bet you used every part. Like if you're out in the <laughs> wild, like you're just like throwing away that vinegar juice. But in prison, you're like, no, this can be this can be made into something. Look, I can yeah, ferment I need that. this. I need yeah, we can distill this <laughs> into a fine powder and forge it into a shiv. Or something. That's good for wounds. <laughs> you boil that vinegar down. <laughs> Did you no, ever get I, in trouble uh, from a, a fellow prisoner for like like them? thinking you were wasting something. I've heard that before in jail, like stinky is bad. Um, and like people perceiving you as being wasteful is bad. Well, I wasn't wasteful. So that wasn't going to happen because okay. there is this, I always had plenty of, of, of food and stuff in my, in my locker. I may, maybe I ran a salsa one day. It's like first world problems, you know, but <laughs> I think that's a second I, world problem. I don't think, right. I actually don't <laughs> think that's a first second world, world problem. problem. <laughs> second world problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that is> <laughs> um, but but there was this thing where like you've got one shopping day a week and if you were to run out of something that you absolutely needed like i don't know toothpaste or a fucking comb to brush your hair or whatever like you'd have to pull some favors to get a new one i guess so there i, I wasn't wasting shit at all um i had my one but you know you, you, you know those uh those little plastic containers you put your soap in to keep yeah. your yeah. soap for later mm-hmm. at camp you know, yeah, everything's like that. I'm I dried the soap off before I put it in there so it wouldn't be soggy and have that layer on the outside that's no good that just sloths away next time you bathe. No, pat that soap dry, baby. <laughs> We're not made of soap. <laughs> 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 so no, I remember one time Damn, I was going to take a sucked. shit and you bring your own toilet paper for that. You know, there's not toilet paper. There's toilet paper in there, I think, but it's awful. You can see through it. One and uh, I and there's a line or whatever to the shitter or there's people showering and stuff. So I'm just chilling outside and I sit my toilet paper down and some big guy comes by and he's like, oh, me, Charmin. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh-uh, no, no, no. That's my toilet paper. I'm going to take a shit. That's mine. He's like, oh, I thought somebody just left it. He's like, he, he, like you caught me kind of look. I was it's so like glad the place was filled with thieves. God, the level of integrity in, the, in here is lacking. God, it's like, <laughs> come on. He was just going to walk away with my toilet paper. I can't believe it. You'd think it'd be safe. But yet, even toilet paper, you know, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't roll you off go a too week much, with you know? like terrible toilet paper. A roll of Charmin might as well be a roll of fucking spun gold. I mean, damn. could you get wet yeah, wipes? Would, that's where the that's where the money fuck, is. No, not that I remember. Dude, I bet they don't I, even allow. I was that. so constipated from this from from the stress. I think I only took like three shits in the two months I was in there. <laughs> mm. That's that's still unreal to me. That you, I, he, Matt, he lasted a month without shitting. Three weeks. I don't remember exactly so how long it was. Like literally, could have died. Uh, I think it was at least uh, twenty two days is the number that I've got in my head. His ass was uh, in defense uh, mode. Obviously, That's it was fresher crazy. at the time. So whatever I said when I came out is like the exact time. But I picture it was Kyle's so long. digestive system being like a Revolutionary War musket, just getting loaded again and again for some reason. Wow. You, know, you pack that shit yeah. down and then another meal, another like meal that, until the whole barrel's filled. Like Hank Hill. That's like real, uh, real unhealthy. Like, I was like, <laughs> so like you were probably point. approaching surgery. Oh yeah, <laughs> I was C-section. at the point where I was gonna ask. I was gonna tell the nurse. I, I like, was gonna tell the nurse if it went. You guys don't know longer. no shit September. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, I feel I sick every nurse. September. I'm sorry, Kyle. What were you saying? I, it's time. I, to go ahead. <laughs> no, no. I, I, I was gonna tell the nurse uh, if it had gone on much longer, but I think like, but when I did finally shit, it wasn't like some colossal moment it was like okay we're pooping again good wait you good. just took a regular shit after that maybe even a less than regular shit that's fucking there's, there's, like there's the some prestige. still in there bro it i was just, yeah. i wasn't eating a lot either <laughs> like like i was eating absorbed a, back into like, your fucking i was i was i was i was eating very very little anyway because i was trying to lose weight while i was in there like what what better time than when you're in prison like like uh i always hear about people who get fat in prison it's like right what are you doing to yourself? Like this, you had you had it. You, yeah, you, you regimented. Have an opportunity. 
There's yeah, nothing yeah. but a, it's you got nothing but time, and the food is bad here, so there's no reason to pick yeah, out. You're on stressed it, you know? out. I could see just eating all the time. I well, anyway. I, Dude, I, I, I was if I was in jail within 24 hours, I'd be back to smoking like two packs a day. You'd have to Do they even pay allow for that somehow. Anymore? Huh? Uh, no, they don't allow cigarettes, but they're there. Oh wait, they don't oh, allow cigarettes, cigarettes are not allowed prison? anymore. No, there haven't been cigarettes in prisons for a real long time. Uh, federal oh, prisons, really? I'm talking. Things have um, changed since I went. Man, that's ridiculous. Yeah, I got, yeah. I got time. Like I'd be like Mister Fucking Cigarettes. I'd, I would fucking go right. You'd back be the Sig Man. Yeah, I'd I'd be know like what they cost. Red and mm. Shawshank. I bet they. It, I bet it reduces violence and problems to yeah. just let them have cigarettes, right? Yeah, it's sort of wait. Yeah, like. It, it, that just seems like bullying. I mean, the best thing about a cigarette is it it takes care of these five minutes. <laughs> it's yeah. a pause button on these five minutes to the next five minutes. Yeah. And so if you could just smoke cigarettes all day before you know it, the fucking day is over. Yeah, but there's a lot of five five man. How, How many cigarettes will get you through 60 days in? It's so many. It takes a lot. <laughs> it, it, you were locked up. Else. Locked up, you'd be two packs a day, no problem. Like, Easy. You smoke freely if you're just sitting yeah. there all day playing playing poker and just trying to kill the time two packs a day. No yeah. Problem. You do three, you do three an hour fucking for 12 hours. That's two packs right there. there There's a, I saw where there was a, a jail, you know, like a city jail somewhere and the sheriff or police captain, whatever, who's in charge there had invented his own vape nicotine vape for his prisoners. And it because it has to be made in such a way he's that doing fucking use science on him down there. <laughs> it's like Doctor Zhivago. Like it is. Well, I think the <laughs> the proprietary parts of the vape are still there, but yeah. he's kind of stuck it in this flimsy ass straw material that you can see hmm. through, and everything's bendy, and the battery sucks, and it's just like you can. This is good for nicotine, nothing fucking else. And they're like, how interesting. Fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's kind. Of, that's kind of. But I think they take I, the nicotine cartridge out and then like smoke it, light it, and smoke it. <laughs> They're free based the nicotine. <laughs> and just, just fucking get blasted. But it's made of like a, a uh, like a pasta noodle, you know, like a <laughs> like a straw. It's a yeah. God, I was just in Europe. I love that pasta noodle straw. That's fucking great. <laughs> <laughs>